Here we have the Alpine ILX F511. This is a new 11 inch floating display from Alpine. Saw a couple of videos on YouTube, but they didn't answer the questions that I had uh, regarding this display with the install in a truck like mine, which is a 2014 GMC Sierra. So I'm gonna go through and explain to you the things that I was looking for, what it does and uh, how I connected it. So I'll turn the truck on. So the beeping you hear is from the iData Maestro uh, kit. I put the speaker here in the dash um, just so it's not so loud. I saw guys were putting it down over here, but I didn't want it to be that loud. So just ran the cord right inside. There's an opening, stuck it right here, uh, which puts the chime in a good location. So here you can see the Apple CarPlay uh, automatically connected to my phone. It's really nice to have because it's wireless. So just walk in the car, screen turns on, I can go to my Spotify and you know my playlist will show up, everything will show up in here. So my question that I had was, so obviously the, the steering wheel controls and all that stuff work, but I was curious about the um, display over here. So from the factory, you know, you can go over, hit audio, and normally it would show you what's playing or the volume controls and all that stuff. And nobody could give me a straight answer if that little screen worked while you had this plugged in. So here's your answer. Uh, no, it does not work. It doesn't do anything. It just says audio off. So you lose complete functionality um, as far as audio is concerned with this little screen. They still do have the info for the car and all that stuff. So I've just been leaving it on speed over here. While I was in here, I also took out the OnStar box and disabled that completely. Uh, side effects of that that I didn't know about were you lose your um, compass here. Normally, you know, I'd say northwest, west, south, east, what have you. That is now gone. Uh, and the light up here is also now gone and off. The reason I disconnected it, I just <clears throat> didn't use it anymore, don't need it anymore. Um, and there's a couple other reasons you can Google on why to take that unit out. So as far as the install went, I did have to take a Sawzall and a um, Dremel tool and remove almost everything that was inside the pocket here. And there's a good deal amount of stuff in there that I had to remove. Um, once you get it all out, got the CD player out, got the stock uh, base unit out, um, you leave the OnStar unit in there. So the OnStar unit is connected through the um, two power cords. Just I took out the um, antenna board that's in there and disconnected the antenna adapter. So that gets moved to the bottom, the OnStar box, and then the opening is free for you to put in the screen. And you're going to need all of it because there's a lot of cords, there's a lot of wires. The Maestro box and its adapters have a lot. Um, it was just a lot more to put in here than I was expecting. So this is the closest in setting, which is how it comes in the box. I left it there because I don't want it out any further than this. I feel like that's a pretty good distance out. And then I am one setting away from the top um, on the bracket behind to lower this down. And the, the kit that I've got here is the Metro Dash Kit. I like the Metro one the most because it has this nice little... Um, bevel on here i've seen some american standard ones and others where this like goes straight up kind of makes it look dorky bulky and big um this looks very nice with the alpine screen right here uh with the metric kit it did want me to put the alpine in the top din location and have the pocket in the bottom i reversed those i put the pocket in the top and the din um, for the alpine on the bottom so that i could get the screen to drop down where i wanted it to be um, I did have to modify the dash kit a little bit and put in some screws because the pocket did not want to go in the upper location, but I got that all to work. So overall, it took me probably about seven hours to install this just because I like to take my time. You know, I shop vac the inside of my opening here after I've made all the dust and debris from ripping all the plastic out. Um, took my time with the wiring harness. I did it on the kitchen table, made sure all the connections were nice and clean, eliminated any extra wiring that I had. I did run the microphone up here, as you can see it, and then I ran the GPS antenna uh, right there. It's not sticking to my dash just because it's had so much, um, like, McGuire's interior detailer on it, so I might have to get a 3M adhesive to get that guy to stick, but just ran the wires for the microphone, 
for that and for the speaker all right here through the dash. And then down here, connected the um, steering wheel controls. So this head unit does come with an OBD2 port where you can monitor uh, the gauges on the car. I didn't connect that because, see it'll tell you OBD2 error, because down here I already have a range module and my power steps, my um, amp research boards, they use the OBD2. So I have a three-way splitter in here already. I didn't feel like putting three devices on one OBD2. So here it tells you it's disconnected. Probably not gonna connect it because, I mean, it really doesn't give me any information that I don't already have except for the load in the intake, but. And I have in my door a Harbor Freight, um, what should we call it, scan tool. So if I really do need something and need to see what the codes are, I've got a tool with me. Overall, the unit's really nice. I'm really happy with it. The audio quality is crazy improved. My stock uh, radio was dying. The back speakers were barely working. Front ones were starting to crackle. I do have Infinity aftermarket speakers um, in the doors, and then I've got some Memphis audio speakers up in the dash. And with this head unit, it's just night and day difference. It just sounds so much better. So if you were like me, you are waiting for Alpine to have built-in wireless Apple CarPlay, and you're worried about how it sounds, it sounds great. Uh, in my truck, I think this unit looks great. It looks just like it came from the factory. Um, you can get it at MotorpsychoSport.com. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or text me, 805-907-8811. Uh, I sell these units. Um, it takes me about a day or two to ship them out once you place the order, so just be aware of that. So anything you guys have or need, give me a call. Thank you.